about to do a leg workout with Bryce. Most interesting layout of a gym I have ever seen in my life. Doing some Stairmaster right now to get warmed up. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a walk, like a talk you guys through this workout or do a voiceover of the footage. It just kind of depends on what the setup is for the workout, so we'll see. We're gonna do about 15, 20 minutes of stairs and then get going. Hello everyone. All right, obviously I decided to do a voiceover. The gym was just too loud and the sound quality would have been very good. So I decided to do the voiceover instead and I haven't done it in a while. So I kind of like doing these because it's easier for me to walk you guys through the workout and talk more specifically about things than is what I'm doing in the gym. So I might start doing this more. Started out with a good stretch, and then I'm actually going to do a stretch at the end of this and walk you through it. So if you want to hang on and watch to the end, you'll see that. But Bryce started out with some box squats. He's really, those pants are being swallowed by his ass. He is a giant ass. Bryce, what you're watching this, you got a big ass, boy. Uh, he likes box squats. I don't. So I went over to regular squats. You're going to see that I'm just kind of struggling right here. We were planning on going up in weight. We are going to climb up like 275 and 315. But my neck, my back, I've been having issues, and you can see my knees are starting to kind of come in, and you don't want that. You always want to keep your frame nice and wide, and the bar is way too high up on my neck. So you'll see here that I'm learning to adjust the bar height a little bit lower on my back. So I don't have huge traps, but I have decent sized traps. So before I was resting it on the peak of my traps, and now I'm trying to put it below the peak of my traps and above my rear delts. So it still felt weird because I've never done it before because it's new. It did feel better. I felt like I was able to have a better squat plane, meaning the weight was moving more up and down consistently. You can see that. And I was able to maintain my frame a little bit better. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, I know I'm going to have to kind of start from the ground up again. But, you know, it's kind of like when you're golf, with a golf swing. If you're having issues, sometimes you just have to restart. And that's just how it goes. So swallow your pride. Go down and wait. And do it right. That's how I always look at it. I don't really care. I mean, of course, I want to move heavy weight. I like setting goals and trying to hit uh, heavy weight, but I'm way, way more uh, focused on having good form. Here we did some some pause reps. I like doing these. They give me a good stretch, and then also they help with explosiveness. I think the angle switches to the back here. Uh, they help with explosiveness, so when you're in the depth of your squat, doing normal squats, you're able to get up out of your squat easier. It's just a good thing to practice. So I like doing those at the end. Um, Bryce and I each did like four or five sets. We did a hundred reps of squats. So that was with regular squats and pause reps combined. Then we moved over to stiff leg it deads and um, started out with just a plate. I really like these because I feel like I get a really good stretch in my hammies. What you want to do is really screw your heels into the ground and then when you're uh, letting the weight down, throw your glutes or your butt back as far as you can and feel a really good uh, stretch in your hammies. And then when you get to the top right there, try to squeeze your glutes together and push your hips forward. So these help uh, a lot with building hamstring strength. And then when you do regular deadlifts, it'll help you move more weight around. Yeah, okay, here's some more of these. Uh, we did, I think we did five sets of 10 on these. So that puts us at 150 reps total for the workout so far. Uh, this is 235 pounds. That was the last set that we did there. We didn't go heavier than that. Bryce thinks it's funny to film me after I'm done working out. There I am right there telling him to stop filming. Moved over to uh, leg extensions. These are my favorite leg workout because you can. I, I just feel like I can isolate and work different parts of my quads. Uh, so much just by simply pointing my toes different directions. If I point my toes inward towards each other, I work the outside of my quads more. And if I point them out, I work the inside. I just, I love how much I'm able to get a good squeeze and I can just feel that mind muscle connection on leg extensions. Then we switch over to hamstring curls, uh, going nice and slow, getting a good stretch and then a good squeeze at the bottom. So there, letting it out nice and, uh, slow and then squeezing there. I think when it switches views here in a second to the side, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. 
I'm telling Bryce that my legs are shaking. My legs were spent by that point. So we did 100 of the leg extensions. So we're like 250 reps in now. But letting it out really slow, getting a stretch, I did a drop set there. I think I did 20 reps and then drop set did 20 more reps. So um, when I let it out slow like that and then squeeze, that helps with explosiveness too. So working on that explosiveness is good because it helps with uh, strength training when you're trying to move some more weight around like when you're at the bottom of your squat uh, if you're doing it so explosiveness for on a chest workout it helps you get the weight up off your chest it's just something i like to work on and it's found something that, it, that works well for me so i've been doing that uh, after this we're going to do walking lunges and that'll put us at about 450 reps if you're liking this workout uh, the link is below in the description you can join my team Britain ross fitness and i will send you a new workout plan and a meal plan six nights a week for you to follow the next day. I teach you how to build your or uh, follow your macros and uh, send you a motivational message. Just it's a really good program and it's it's not just another Instagram. This is a long plug, but I'm gonna keep going anyways. It's not just like another Instagram scam, like get results quick thing. Like this is a lifestyle change that uh, as a team we live together and we try to keep each other accountable and start living a new healthier lifestyle that hopefully will lead to you know, results and a longer healthy life that you know you just it, it just builds good habits that you can also use in other areas of life all right anyways back to the workout I'm doing walking lunges here I'm trying to stay back in my stance not letting my knee go too far over my toes and that is the end of it we're gonna do a stretch Bryce is gonna film me I think you'll enjoy how much of a dumbass he is with a camera here so here we go good talking to you guys Hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover. I haven't done one of those in a while. I ended up deciding to do a voiceover because the gym was really loud. No way you guys can actually hear me when I'm going through it. We're gonna stretch. All my Team Britain Ross Fitness programs I send out on leg day. I should do it on every day, but specifically on leg day. I always plan a good stretching session before and after leg day. So it'll help with soreness, help with flexibility, and it helps with strength. So right now we're going to start out by putting one leg straight across the ground, bringing one leg over as you can see. Bring in, I like to bring my arm around like this and squeeze. I can feel a nice stretch. You're not doing a very good job being a cameraman. He didn't want to stretch. He's going to Disneyland. Why don't you want to stretch? You're going to be able to walk when you go to Disneyland. The only grown man I know that goes to Disneyland by himself all the time. I never go by myself. You always go by yourself because nobody will go with you. Anyways, we're stretching our glutes right here. We're gonna pull that across like that. If you lean into it a little bit, the opposite direction, you can feel it and pull. Oh, that feels good, Uncle Tony. Oh, get a nice shot of the glute stretch right there. <laughs> really nice. See that right there? That's my glute. It's stretching. We're gonna go opposite side. Oh, this is going to sound a lot like a P90X video. And stretch. Doesn't that feel good? All right. Oh, lean. Good. Now we're going to go into a butterfly. Ooh. Try to bring, put your heels together. Bring them in as close as possible. It's a good crotch shot you got going on there. I know you're zooming in. I know you. It's not zoomed in. Bullshit. Feel the chi. Pulse the monkey. All right. Getting a good stretch there. Stretch. This is for your groin. Right through here. This is really good. I like to rock forward a little bit, and I can feel it in my hips, right here. I have really bad hip flexors, so I just have to stretch them out. And warm up a lot, especially before I squat, because they get really tight. I just have really tight hip flexors. I've been having problems with this one. Your back squat looks like a hand with their middle finger up. That's hard work. What the heck? Now we're just going to do, I don't know what you call these stretches. I mean, I'm not a yoga instructor. I'm here to get big. That's but, downward dog. No, it's not. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to put, not that I do it, though. Anyways, we're gonna put our legs out straight like this. You're getting really good angles. I love how you're just moving around. I'm sure it's gonna be really good footage. It is. All right. Oh, touch the toes. Oh, look at that flexibility. Yeah. I can barely touch. We might want to cut this one out. Oh, now we're gonna leave it. This is real. This is raw. 
is why I need to do this more. Oh, put your head forward. You can feel it even more. Nice stretch here in the hamstrings and the hips. I just looked it up on my phone. They call that the toe touch. Toe touch. Okay. Now we're going to do a downward dog. Right? It's like this. But no, it's not. It's praying well. Oh, yeah. I feel that in my quads and in my hip. Uh, stay here. Feels really good on my quads. Now this is a downward dog. Try to push your heels to the floor. And push your head down to your belly button. You feel it in your hamstrings. If you have to, you can go side to side. I'm gonna do that right now because I can feel that a lot in that right hip flexor. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is a great view. This is what people pay for. <sighs> Only 10 bucks a month. Okay. Oh, now we're just gonna do standard quad stretch. I'm gonna grab here. See that balance? Look at that balance. It's beautiful. Just pull that nice and tight. Try to make your knees like parallel, even. See you shaking your head. No, you want to pull that, that knee back. Pull it up. You want to pull it back a little bit behind your your knee next to it. This is why I brought you. <sighs> You're here to stretch me out. It's more of a full stretch. So brothers are for just to stretch each other. You're gonna take the knee that you're stretching about oh, two so inches behind the left. Probably turned off this footage right when the workout ended. But for those of you who are still with us, I hope you're enjoying. Pull this. the knee back. Oh. Feel that. Nope. Yeah, feel it. Embrace it. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna go a little bit of a wide stance. <laughs> Bring my hips back. I'm just gonna hang out. Probably take a quick nap. Oh. Come up. I like to throw my hips forward like when I'm doing deadlifts or straight legged deadlifts like we were doing earlier. Tighten my glutes and then kick it back out with that same motion and stretch. Oh, I'm getting lower on this one. That's the floor. That's the floor. It's uh, normally how it works. <laughs> how tall are you, Bryce? I just got 5'8 last week. Yeah. Oh. Oh. My knees come forward a little bit. That doesn't count, does it? Okay. I'm feeling pretty stressed unless you got some suggestions. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this whole walkthrough with voiceover. I've done one in a while. Make sure you subscribe for cranking out these videos. Hope you guys are liking them, trying to put out valuable information. Got some more awesome videos coming your way. We're diversifying. It's not just fitness. A lot of other stuff that's coming. Um, follow my Instagram, Brandon Ross Fitness. Snapshot, snapshot, Snapchat. Brandon Ross, Bryce, throw out your stuff. I don't have any. Bryce's there. social media again. I don't have any. There. He got to 8,000 followers and he's retired. He's been living off his earnings for the last year and a half from 8,000 followers. You're an idiot. All right, seriously though, I appreciate it if you give it a like. It's that thumbs up button. I'm just thirsty for likes. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs>